Hi, good morning. My name is Bobby Moseman. Welcome to my overall review of Asha's Practice Portal. My overall review of Asha's Practice Portal is that it is extremely thorough. The site itself as a tool seeks to cover nearly all aspects of professional practice, either by an audiologist or by a speech language pathologist. For example, um, one can self-educate on any condition, complete with symptomology, prevalence assessment, tools, treatment ideas, and resources with which to treat those individuals with those conditions. Um, this is inclusive of support groups and foundations created to deal specifically with the given condition you may be wondering about as a clinician. Relating to professional issues one may encounter, the portal offers myriad and current topics such as problems with overscheduling or documentation in healthcare and um, school settings. The portal offer, offers helpful videos on any chosen topic such as telepractice. These videos help not only define the actual topic itself further, but show many ways in which the topics may be utilized to fully benefit uh, the client and the clinician. Uh, also, any issue which may arise through the use thereof of any of those topics, whatever they are, um, it addresses any issues that may arise. Okay, admittedly, the client patient handout section, as well as the tools and templates section, are slightly overwhelming, but I found them to be overwhelming in a good way. Uh, I simply mean that there is so much to choose from and so many ways with which to connect to your clients and their families in a client-focused and reassuring manner. Also within these sections are numerous support aids for your clinical goals and therapeutic approaches for nearly any condition. Uh, behavioral need or modified approach that you would ever want to try as a clinician. The fact that Asha has these resources available at a reasonable cost is reassuring that I will definitely have a caring partner in practice. No matter where I end up practicing, Asha's practice portal will be there for me. Um, in choosing our items from the four categories, I'll start with clinical topics. I chose the, the section on selective mutism. Um, though the prevalence for this condition is low or rare, I find this to be a very interesting diagnosis. I was able to observe a child with selective mutism many times over the course of one semester, and I suppose that's why I find it so interesting. <clears throat> I found the tools for assessment within the portal to be extremely helpful in that they are very specific to the diagnosis. For instance, I would never want to add undue stressors to the client and um, the assessment tool section offers a lot of advice on how to avoid this. I envision utilizing the information on selective mutism to help me assess the client properly, thoroughly, and efficiently. I would also use the information offered on treatments available and ways in which I can involve family, teachers, and other caregivers in the, state, in the treatment of the client. Also, the section on selective mutism helped me to better understand my own roles and responsibilities as the practicing SLP for this specific client. With regard, for, uh, with regard to professional issues, um, I chose telepractice uh, because where I live is very rural. As an example, it is not uncommon for families to drive 1.5 hours just for groceries. I think it will be imperative for me to offer telepractice to my future clients. If say inclement weather were to arise and my client could not make it to me, I would still want to carry on with that day's session wherever possible and telepractice could really help me do that. Um, I envision utilizing the section on telepractice to help me determine what the specific issues are when delivering therapies in this manner and how to avoid them prepare for them, or to remediate them if need be. Also, the section on telepractice will help me choose a delivery platform best suited to my needs as a clinician, as well as help me better understand the ethical standards of telepractice, treatment, and how they may differ from face-to-face -face therapies. I noticed that there is also advice on how to go about billing for telepractice therapies delivered, and that's also of interest to me. For the section on client-patient handouts, um, I went straight for the Asha store. I found this to be the most comprehensive tool for consumer education resources 
I envision using the ASHA store in my own practice whenever I need to provide the client or families or caregivers for a client with information regarding their specific condition or difficulty and how we might be able to help. Um, the store itself offers a search bar so that I can search virtually any topic. There are countless handouts and brochures with which I can educate families and caregivers about their loved ones or themselves. Um, in a, and this can be done in an efficient manner uh, and, and in a manner which invites questions back to me, the clinician, about their care. In the tools and templates section, um, I think it goes without saying that I will likely utilize nearly every clickable link within the section many times over the course of my career. But if I am pressed to utilize just one, I chose the topic on billing and reimbursement. Due to where I live, I find it a viable option to go into private practice and still be able to work with our local hospital in an outpatient capacity and to work with families who may need services outside of the school setting. Uh, in doing so, I anticipate feeling somewhat lost with regard to billing and reimbursement. I envision utilizing this section to help me understand what is billable, what is not, what goes with certain insurances, um, how to bill in order to be reimbursed, et cetera, et cetera. I have so many questions on how this all works and I know I will utilize this specific session within Asha's practice portal over and over to answer those everyday questions, which might be tricky. I mentioned in the outset, and I'll close with the same thought, that Asha has certainly put good and productive thought into creating the practice portal. And I feel comforted knowing all that information is at my fingertips. Thanks for watching.